again to pose for photos with the head of LVMH, a European luxury What's up? company. The new administration would be delighted if more <coughs> Oh, big cheesy. Big cheesy. What's up, guys? I hope you're doing good. It's Monday. It's motherfucking Monday. How are you guys doing? I had a good weekend. You know what? I'm off call. So it's like really cool. Will says, yo, it's Monday as fuck. Yeah, it's like super fucking Monday. Like really Monday. I have to I have to actually work like five days this week. It's fucking pissing me off, man. Jeez, what a rip off. What's up, Matt and Greg? Um, yeah, so like the last three weeks I've had a four-day work week. And I was complaining about that because it fucks up my groove. And now I got to work five days. And fuck that because it's five days. But whatever. Greg says, what's up? How's Mr. Withers doing? Man, I'm good as fuck. So, it's official. It's like really fucking official. The smoke break is a year old. It's a year. I've done this for a year. Oh my God. I'm kind of freaking out. It feels good outside. Yeah, it's like not really too too hot uh, or too cold. And, and it's not any other shit too. Feels good outside though. Day number eight straight for me, bro. Plus I'm on call. Oh, snap. That sucks, man. And that sucks. I got off call. I got off call last night and... Fuck yeah, that's what's up. I'm not on call anymore. I can go rehearse, uh, you know, without having to worry about driving back to Frisco if I get a call or some shit. And it feels good. I know you know what it's like to go off call, Matt. Oh, it's lovely. I got band practice tonight. Woot, 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 fat, fat, fat. That's cool, man. That's cool as shit. Man. I had a pretty, like, quiet weekend. I only had to go into work once. And, uh, yeah, somebody called me last night at, at like, 9 o'clock. They're like, man, it is 85 degrees in here. So I get on the automation system, and I look. I was like, uh, it's showing 72. What, what, are you looking at the thermostat, or what are you looking at? He's like, no, I'm looking at the thermometer on the clock next to the vent. <laughs> this motherfucker, yeah, this thermometer on his clock next to a vent and it was really hot and he, fuck, man I, I had just taken my sleeping medicine so I was about to have to like drive my sleepy ass to work but no I got it taken care of over the phone yo what's up I had a good weekend though I had a really good weekend uh, looking forward to this week you know looking forward to it my son's gonna be here any fucking day so I can't, I can't like stay away from the hospital or too far away from the hospital for too long because uh, my, my boy Corbin, he's going to be here anytime and we're not inducing labor, right? So it's like it could happen anytime and shit. And what is it? The 22nd, the 22nd is full term. Uh, it's going to be like nine months or some shit. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to meet that little dude. What's up, Brooke? Will says, I woke up Sunday hungover as fuck. Stayed in bed all day. Finally got up and got more beer. Started feeling great. I had to go Saturday and check out Andy's renovations. Drink way too much and spent way too much. Yeah, uh, Fab Deuce played with uh, Southpaw Preachers, right? I bet that was really fun. I bet that was cool as shit. Uh, Hail, I had Hail on the smoke break. I guess, like, seven or eight months ago now. Yeah, she's pretty cool. And Fab Deuce guys, they're always cool as fuck. Yeah, I saw the videos you posted. Yeah. Fab Deuce goes hard in the paint. What's up, guys? This is Smoke Break with Dylan. I'm the host, Dylan. It's a show where I talk about random shit into my smartphone during my lunch break. Um, and today it's a year old, it's a year fucking old and I'm really excited about it. I don't have anything planned, but you know, he says I posted a lot of videos. Yeah, I did, man. I, or, yeah, you did. I saw a bunch of them. I 
Oh, yeah. Uh, so let's get to news. And did you guys hear about this uh, $50 billion wall that Trump's going to try to charge the American people for? He said, I, I heard some story. It's like, we're going to pay for it up front, but Mexican government's going to end up paying for it on the back end, like later. That seems shady as fuck. I don't know, man. Oh, and he goes into office on the 20th. I think it's the 20th. Yeah. It's when I have my fucking doctor's appointment. I'm going to ask him for some fucking Trump pills. He never answered my message. What? I forgot. What was it? Big Trumpy. Ah. You asked, didn't you ask me to like, uh, promote something or something? I forgot what that was. About an endorsement. Yeah, message me after that. We'll work out the details, man. We'll work out the fucking details. Let's see. Uh, I was talking about this Jacqueline Craig police officer viral video thing a while back. And so it's the punishment phase uh, of that. That's going to be going on. Like, they're going to... They finish the investigation and shit. And so the cop that arrested that chick for calling the cops on her neighbor and she ended up like getting arrested and tased and shit so like the uh results of the police investigation regarding that cop uh that comes out today so yeah i'll let you know more about that some news Ugh. Oh, good grief. Good grief. I guess I'll smoke another one. Where the fuck is everyone? I don't know, man. I think I tag too many people. Every time I tag too many people, uh, it doesn't really tell people <laughs> that I have a show going. So that's what usually happens. Get it together, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I was distracted. I was distracted. <laughs> All right, so uh, the Star in Frisco, that's the, the Dallas Cowboys practice stadium. And so it's opening up to the public. And so you can have uh, guided tours for like $39 or $34. January 2nd at Andy's. Come see the FAPS. Right on. And, uh, yeah, and all the Super Bowl memorabilia is there. All the, the shit from the last time that they won the Super Bowl from, like, 72 or 71 to 95. Uh, yeah, all that shit's there at the Star, and you can now take a tour uh, if you're, like, a Super Cowboys fan and shit. Uh, so check it out. It's in Frisco. I know some people in Frisco. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, and speaking of, like, sports and shit, what's up, Whitey? Um, so playoff tickets for the Cowboys, like the game next weekend, that's going to be crazy. Uh, if you want to rent a suite, it's like 35 grand, 35 fucking grand to, to rent a seat at the Cowboys playoff game, I guess against the uh, Green Bay Packers. I think that's who they're playing. And, uh, yeah. And then like, if you want tickets on the 50 yard line, one ticket is five grand and that's fucking expensive as fuck. Cowboys going to beat the Green Bay ass. Uh, yeah, I hope so, man. That's my dude's. When they're winning, Whitey says, yo. <clears throat> and, like, the standing room only tickets for this playoff game, they're 160 bucks. That's fucking expensive. And so, shout out, Cowboys. So, the Golden Globes were recently. They were, uh, like, yesterday or the day before. Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kusher, to be named special advisor to the president. This just in, haha, when they're winning. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking like any shitty teams. <laughs> uh, the Golden Globes were like last weekend and shit. And I don't know, I'm sure most of y'all uh, heard Meryl Streep was talking shit about Trump. Uh, and so was Jimmy Fallon or something. I mean, that guy's such an easy target, you know. It's like, okay, we get it. You know, you hate the guy. Okay, <laughs> give me a fucking break. Uh, but the, the, 
the movie that won the most Golden Globes, uh, won seven Golden Globe Awards, was this movie called La La Land. Uh, apparently, it's about like trying to make it in Hollywood or some shit. And uh, yeah, I said Meryl Streep talk shit about Trump. Big, big fucking surprise. Oh fuck, that coffee is strong. I'm trying to do a good show. Like uh, I posted uh, the other day, where uh, it's like two. It's been 255 episodes or 200. 45 episodes of the smoke break since this year is over and it's it it's I'm you know I try not to get too much of a big head but I'm really proud of that you know I haven't really stuck with anything that long or there's not been much that I've stuck with that long and uh I really love doing this I really do and uh, thanks for watching for real he says ah yeah so I'm proud of myself but I can't I can't get too proud you know I can't get too much of a big head because once I, once I get a really big head, uh, you know, sh bad shit starts to happen, you know, and, and so it's it's important to stay humble for me, but you know, whatever. She says you should be proud. Thanks, thanks, Tiffany. I didn't know you were here. See, it doesn't give me notifications when everybody's here, man. It's weird. Oh, and the uh, the the no the nominations for the the Den Night came out. Uh, Denton Night is, I guess it's a Denton news outlet or some shit. Anyway, the nominations came out, and my boy Party McFly was nominated for the best DJ. That's Matt P. And so, uh, I don't get to watch every day, but I appreciate you doing it and entertaining us. Yeah, it's an entertaining show. Thank you. I try. I fucking try. And, like, when I feel good, the show's good. But when I feel blah, I'm like, fuck. Nah, fuck this. But, you know, even, like, one time I had a panic attack. I was having a panic attack right before the smoke break. And I still got on this motherfucker and, and like, forced my way through a show. And, I don't know, it's not in my character to really, like, stick with shit as much as I can. As much as I have with this fucking thing. And, uh, you know, maybe it's maturity or some shit. What's up, Mike? That's my dude, Mike. Yeah. Producer, director in the house. All right. So do you guys know that you cannot buy a Tesla from a dealership in the state of Texas? This doesn't make any fucking sense to me. I don't understand it. W why? You know, all you can have is a, is a gallery. That's all you can have is like a Tesla gallery. My, John says YOLO. YOLO. I don't watch the news and appreciate finding out actual honesty on Facebook instead of posting trending things. Yeah, um, I get all my news from uh, KRLD Talk Radio 10 a.m. or 1080 a.m. And basically, what I do is I listen to it during the the morning, the you know the a.m. part of the day, and then I just dot, jot down the shit that I want to talk about, and uh, that's my show prep, you know. And, and then I guess a lot of news they try to be objective, but I tell you my opinion on that shit because uh, I want to. <laughs> you know, and I, I, I would, I like to tell you, I think this is bullshit. I heard this in the news. I think this is bullshit. And speaking of bullshit, why is it against state law that you cannot buy a Tesla from a dealership in the state of Texas? That's bullshit. Uh, apparently you have to order one online and I don't fucking know that. That seems dumb. Why is it a law? Why is it against the laws? It's something to do with uh, electric cars or some shit. Anyway, so there's a new uh, Tesla gallery. It's not a dealership. It's a gallery. And that shit is coming to South Lake. South Lake has a shit ton of money. So, yeah, whatever. Did you guys hear about this fucking trans species chick video? Where she's a cat. She's like, I was born the wrong species. I'm a fucking cat. And she goes around hissing at dogs and malls and shit. That's dumb. <laughs> I mean... I respect your, your right to identify as any species or any sex or anything, but the species thing, that's fucking retarded, lady. Um, how would, do you want to eat cat food? Just eat some fucking cat food. Was that going to make you, I mean, that's what cats do. They eat cat food and they lick their assholes. So can you do that? If you can't do that, you're not a fucking cat.
You got opposable thumbs, bitch. You, you're not a cat. What's up, Jed? I heard you're playing uh, at Andy's on the 27th with the Faps. How can I get notifications when you go live? Okay, what you can do is go to my personal page and uh, when it says friends in the check, to to the right of that, there's something that says following and you click on following and you click uh, see, see notifications first or get notifications first instead of the default. And that should get you notifications uh, every fucking time I go live. 21st, 21st. Okay, it's not the 27th. 21st at Andy's. Uh, my dudes in the Fabs are playing. Go ch check them out. They're really fucking good. There's not, there's not many real... They are one of few real punk bands left, you know? Check them out. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, I've seen her. Isn't she trying to transform... Or modify her body. I don't know, dude. She's got to get her kneecaps installed backwards. And then she's got to, like, get some, some like, spiny shit on her tongue. And she's going to have to have hair in, transplanted all over the fucking place. And if she's responsible, she's going to have herself spaded. Because that's what you're supposed to do uh, to uh, help control the animal population. Have your dogs and cats spayed and neutered. So if she's, like, if she's all in, she needs to spade herself. And I think she probably needs to go to a vet for that. That's 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 what you're supposed to do. But who cleans her litter box? Is it like does she clean her little bo litter box? I don't know. I want to self-identify as a millionaire. <laughs> Trans income, <laughs> trans income rights. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll be ex uh, I'll be accepting donations so I can live as my true income. Uh, which is a billionaire knees put in backwards. Yeah, that's what you got to do You said have herself spaded. Yeah <laughs> That's what she's supposed to do. She's a cat, right? Shit. I know a guy I can get I can hook it up. What's up Eric? Eric's my dude shout out veterans Shout out guys that fucking blow shit up Ah, Yeah, the cat lady's crazy there's a Batman joke in there somewhere, but I, I don't know. <laughs> Is it hot in here? Did you guys hear about this uh, Iranian fucking U.S. battleships that were, like, shooting back and forth at each other uh, off the Persian Gulf? So, apparently, like, the Iranians, they got battleships and shit, and they were, like, going straight. straight <laughs> yeah, she's definitely a crazy cat lady. Um, yeah, so, like... This Iranian ship was going in a intimidating manner towards this U.S. battleship, and the U.S. battleship fucking shot off some warning shots, and we're like, "Hey, bro, back the fuck up!" And then they backed the fuck up. But uh, yeah, so that's like news. That's important and shit, because I don't want to fucking get blown up by the Iranians. Literally, crazy cat lady. Yeah, spay is the singular future tense. Spade is past tense. So she needs to have herself spay, spay. She needs to have herself spay, spaded, <laughs> spayed, spaded. -ed. Cowboys versus Packers. That's what's up. Yeah, that goes down next week, and the tickets are fucking ridiculous. Thirty-five grand for a suite. Anybody want to go half? Anybody want to go one hundred and two hundred fifty fourths with me? There's always a joke in everything. Life's a joke, man. Sometimes it's not a funny joke, though. Oh, guys, you know what's fucking... You know what's 10 years old today? You know what is 10 years old? Motherfucking iPhone. She needs to spay herself. She needs to have a spay performed. And then after she has it done, she'll be spayed. Spay. Yeah. There's a joke in it. Okay, I already read that one. Yeah, so the iPhone's 10 years old today. iPhone 1 came out. That's like a big deal because that's what I'm streaming this this fucking smoke break from. It is an iPhone. What's up, Kathy? That's my mother-in-law. She's cool. What's up, Michelle? <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Let's see, I got some more shit to talk about. Oh, shit, that's it. Let's do birthdays. 
Yay, I caught the end of the smoke anniversary. Oh shit, it's already 12.52. Check out 1500crew.com. Check out precisionprivacyandstain.com. And then check out that thing that Will wants me to endorse.com. Good. Thinks she's not a dude that thinks he's a cat. He'll be busting a nut. Yeah, I'll be spraying all over the place, right? <laughs> oh shit, I need to get my rabbit uh, neutered. My rabbit is like at, at wants to fuck age. And I think he's like... He's claimed me as his mate because I feed him and shit. And so I posted this video of uh, my my rabbit. <laughs> my rabbit. He when I'm standing in the living room, he just does circles around me. And, and this rabbit group, they're like, they're like, yeah, he claimed you as his own. So I guess technically I'm my rabbit's girlfriend. Whatever. I need to get him spayed so he he stops going nuts. I you know, and I was wondering, do they make like fake rabbit sex? dolls so I can have so I can get him something that that he can fuck you know so he can release some of this pent up energy I don't know uh I bet they got it I'm pretty sure the internet has anything so <laughs> so I'm gonna get my rabbit uh a fake thing to fuck that's the goal Vincent says new meaning to fucking like rabbits <laughs> sup star Get him a pocket pussy. Nah. I don't know. Maybe. Do they make like extra small pocket pussies? I don't know. So apparently I, you are your wabbit's bitch. Nah, man. I'm the top. <laughs> nah. That's gross. Fuck. Conversation starter. 15, 50 comments so far. Right on. Yeah, but I am worried about his, his well-being, you know. I don't want him to have all this fucking pent up sexual energy that he can't get rid of, you know? I hate for him to go nuts one day and murder us all. Get a pocket pussy and put it in a stuffed rabbit. That'd be nice if you let that happen before the spay. Yeah. I don't know, man. I worry about him. He's a little asshole. He needs something to fuck because he's getting out of control. And he's he's like uh he's like territorial with with Jackie. Like he'll he'll like hiss at her and shit. <laughs> so yeah, that's my dude. Birthday's the day. Jimmy Page from motherfucking Led Zeppelin is seventy three. Yo, it's it's Richard Nixon's birthday. Um, he died ninety four, but he would have been some fucking age if he hadn't died. Happy birthday. Uh, Richard Nixon, and then uh, J.K. Simmons turned 62. Uh, J.K. Simmons is the dude from the farmers insurance commercials. Uh, we are farmers. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so he turns 62. Dave Matthews, really fucking good jazz pop band. It's like they're a pop, they're a pop band, but they're all jazz musicians. So uh, yeah, yeah. I saw that video of the, this rabbit fucking. He like goes, he goes really fast, and he goes. And then he falls over and shit. It was pretty funny. And then who? Bob Denver? Gilligan? His birthday is today. He died in 2005. But his birthday is today, so yeah. And then uh, MF Doom. I think this guy's a rapper, MF Doom. He turns 46 today. Yeah, those are birthdays. Shout out birthdays. Shit. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, we're uh, me and the dudes in Agiline. We got a gig coming up uh, the twenty fourth of February. We're playing backyard at Bell. Uh, it's it's a friends of the family benefit show. Come on out. It'll be fun as fuck. Metal and tampons and all sorts of shit. It's a tampon drive, so you can bring tampons or or pads. Uh, I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> it's a benefit, you know. So <laughs> come on out dead on this day like deaths okay I can do that today my dignity died hey guys thanks for watching the smoke break I appreciate it here's to another year of random bullshit uh, into my cell phone and uh, I think it'll be a good year you know check out the YouTube page just search smoke break with Dylan you'll get some YouTube fucking videos you can always check out uh, the Facebook Facebook page, which is 
Facebook.com slash smoke at lunch. Yo. Bo says fuck you. What's up, Bo? That's my dude. Hey, I'll talk to you guys later.